Hi guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I style my hair using the dry bar blow dryer brush. Um, this tutorial can honestly go for any blow dryer brush. I just happen to have the dry bar one. It just looks like this. It's a pretty nice blow dryer brush. I really like it. I have the one that's meant for thick hair. There's one that's meant for thin hair also. So I have the dry bar double shot oval blow dryer brush. This one is made specifically for thick coarse hair. They have one for more thin fine hair. That is the single shot round blow dryer brush. So make sure you're getting the right one if you are purchasing a dry bar blow dryer brush. So before I show you how I style my hair, I want to explain to you why I prefer a blow dryer brush rather than a regular blow dryer and a round brush. So me personally, I don't like to style my hair. It's too much work. I just don't like it. I have thick curly hair. It takes me around 45 minutes to style my hair. It's just too much work for me. <laughs> And with this, I truly feel like it doesn't feel like a lot of work. I feel like it's so easy to use and it cuts down my styling time a lot. And also it's lightweight. It's not heavy to hold, which I really like. My hair is always smooth when I use it, shiny. My hair always looks super nice. It looks like it has that blowout look to it. It has a lot of volume. So honestly, if you are someone that just wants to style their hair quick and easy, you want something simple to use, I really recommend this because once you get the hang of it, you learn the tips and tricks, the techniques, it's really fun to use, honestly all the controls are. Mine just has off, cool, low, and high. I will have this and all the products that I'm going to be showing in this video will be listed in my description box below if you're wondering where you can get this. Now time for the tutorial. So whenever my hair, oh something about, okay something about blow dryer brushes that a lot of people don't know about and they are damaging their hair. Do not use it when your hair is wet. I know it says blow dryer and that confuses everyone. It confused me. I thought you could use it when your hair is damp. No, you have to use this on your hair at least when it's like 80, 90% dry. You will damage your hair if your hair is wet if you use this. So make sure your hair is at least, you know, like I said, 80 to 90% dry and then you can use it. I like when my hair, I use it on my hair when it's like 90% dry. Sometimes I'll use it when my hair is fully dry. It depends. The hair products that I use, whenever my hair is damp, I put this in. I've been using this for so long. It's the Kenra Smoothing Blowout Lotion. I really like this. It smells really nice. Uh, you only need a little bit. And how I apply this I'll put just a little bit and I'll rub this through my hands and fingers like this and then comb it through my hair the reason why I don't just put it in my palms and then just go like this is because sometimes the product will just go on the back of my hair and it won't go like anywhere else and if you rub it through your fingers and you comb it I feel like it really goes through my hair so much better I also use that hack with hair oil a little tip a lot of people sometimes they feel like their hair is greasy after using a hair product and I think that's why because whenever I changed how I do that my hair doesn't feel greasy anymore so a little tip but this hair product it really just keeps that hold of my blowout that I give with the hair tool and it gets rid of any frizz really like it I also use this it's a prime and prep detangler from dry bar I got this in like a little gift set and I really like it. It smells really nice. It's also a heat protectant, which I like. It smells really good. Dry Bar has the best smelling hair care products, especially this is my favorite product ever. It is the Hot Toddy um, Heat Protectant Mist. This smells so good. Probably the best smelling hair product I have ever owned. It smells amazing. This is definitely a product I would repurchase. So that's all that I use to prep my hair. I use the mist when my hair is dry, like I whenever I'm sectioning my hair. So this is my hair before. It's an absolute, um, it's a lot. All right, now I got a style of all of this. So you're gonna see how good this works. This is my workout. But for the first section that I show, I'm going to talk through it. What I do is I part my hair 
my hair is like 90 percent dry i would say right now it's mostly like dry it just has like a little dampness to it so i'm just using my wet brush and i'm brushing through my hair to get all the tangles out to make it easier so i'm using my heat protectant spraying that okay so when i first start i go like this and then i will flip it over and go this way and the trick with this is you really want to take your time do not just brush through your hair like that you need to give it time to like heat your hair up and do its work and it's a little magic on your hair okay i really take my time and roll the brush in my hair like this to slowly go when you go down you roll down roll down roll there are so many different ways you can style your hair using this i'm going to show you the way that i've been loving but two ways that you can do it at the end here you can just roll it like this to give it like a little curl at the end or what i like to do when i'm here i will go like this and i twist and i will not touch this until the very end when i comb all my hair out and it gives like a really nice really pretty blowout look um but yeah you can do it either way so now i'm gonna turn this on you can hear what it sounds like and see how i do it So I just gave like a little curl like this. That's what it looks like. Can't really see like the ends of my hair. But yeah, that's what it looks like. That's all, it's so, it's super simple. That's literally all it is. Now the next section, you can take as small or big sections as you want. So for this side, whenever I do the twisty thing, I make sure to switch to my other hand. And then I twist this. Like that.
just like a clip and I like to clip the hair that I already did. I like to clip my hair in the back so it just is out of my way. I usually section my hair four times just because, um, sorry, I can't like do two things at once sometimes. Was I even saying? Oh, I section it a lot because I just feel like my hair comes out nicer when I, the more sections I do. So I feel like if I do too much, like at once, it's just more work, if that makes sense. Anyways. This is what those two layers look like. It's looking like so far. Now I have one more section, which will be quick. Finally done. <laughs> I'm just gonna gently comb my fingers through and just shake my hair. And that's what it looks like. And it gives a nice shine. Turned out really nice though. My hair feels really soft. It still has a lot of shine to it. I still have a lot of volume in my hair. It gives that salon blowout look to it. And it was that easy. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I post videos every week, so I'll see you on my next video next week. Bye.